Okay, I'm gonna do a quick uh, load test against some of our, our demo servers just to see how it plays out in the Anomaly Advisor. So um, I'm in this uh, space here where I have our demo sites. We've got uh, uh, Bangalore, Frankfurt, New York, Singapore. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run, I'm actually gonna run a K6 uh, load test against uh, two of those demo servers. Um, you can see my configuration in here. I basically have uh, two scenarios. A request in each one so we're gonna um, make some users against uh, Bangalore and we're gonna make some users against uh, the New York demo server um, and all they're gonna do here is go to basically the net data local dashboard just users against that basically and the options are the same and in each uh, in each one we're gonna do uh, 50 VUs for two minutes on on uh, scenario one and just for one minute on scenario two just to have a little bit of a difference um, and this is going to be constant uh, VUs. So basically, K6 is going to kind of spin up and um, create some load against these two servers. And we're going to press the button and see what happens in the Anomaly Advisor. So I will press save and run. And run. Too many VUs. Ah, OK, let me change this real quick. I think I'm still on, on a free option here, so I probably need to drop this to 25 and maybe 25. Let's try that. Setting up test. So K6 is probably doing its stuff in the background, spinning up, you know, whatever is needed to go and run this load test against those two servers. Um, in here, I'm in the Anomaly Advisor tab. Um, if I look into the overview screen, you can see there's not much Typically not much going on these servers, they're just demo servers. Um, and so if I look in the anomalies tab here, we can see, um, you know, low enough overall anomaly rates across each 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 server, you know, in total maybe 1%, but generally it's kind of spikes above two, three, four percent or so. That would be things you will be looking at here. I see something coming through there. Uh, so let's see, K6 is running these tests, two seconds running, working away. So this will last about two minutes, two and a half minutes. Um, and let's just have a look in here and see. So straight away, we can see a spike in the Anomaly Advisor. Um, and we can see, sure enough, it's as you would expect, it's Bangalore and New York. So in this case here, this is saying um, when the K6 test kicked in, Bangalore shot up to 4%, just over 4% uh, Anomaly rate on that. Um, server, which means net data considered four percent of the of the metrics it collected at this second uh, anomalous straight away. Um, similar for New York, you can see it jumped up to two point five. And if I let things play again a little bit here, we can see. So let me see. So I, I kind of I can see the pro I can see the issue here is Bangalore, and New York. So what I'll do is I'll filter for just Bangalore, and New York. Let it play. It'll filter and. Um, we can see that the K6 test is running away here. One minute left, um, and what this was this was kind of a constant, uh, constant view. So basically, it's it's kind of equivalent to twenty five users straight away going at the same time on on the on the local dashboard of each of each of those servers. So not exactly a whole lot of load, you know, um, but this is just to illustrate sort of what would happen when we make a sort of a change on the system. And so this should be enough to show something of interest in here. And so, yeah, so I can what I can do here now is I can kind of highlight the area of interest. I see the spike here, maybe a little bit after uh, this is about one, one and a half minutes. And um, down below, then in this heat map area, we will see what net data considers the most anomalous metrics. And so surprise, surprise here, we can see kind of network traffic because that's, that's exactly what we were testing here. We were doing a load test against these two servers. Um, so we can see here, um, typically sort of background traffic as per normal, you know, not that much going on here. And then all of a sudden there was a, a big a big burst of activity on both servers at the same time. Um, we can see the blue server here stopped. The blue server was New York, which stopped first because that was we only ran that test for a minute. And you can see the... Uh, red server here is Bangalore, which actually carries on. It's still going on at the moment uh, with elevations because uh, we set that for two minutes. So if I if I if I just play this for a sec, we'll see it come through here now. Yeah. So here we can see kind of 
uh, the attack stopped on New York first, and it's carried on on on, um, on Bangalore. So you can see this is basically um, how it's sort of straight away. The anomaly advisor is telling you network turned on. Um, whereas if you were, you know, if you're looking at the overview screen, um, you might see similar stuff if you know where to look. But like if you're just looking, say here in CPU, obviously, because it's only fifty users, say in, in this case, it's not going to exactly be much of an impact on CPU. Um, and so if you knew if you know where to look, I guess you know if you, if you know where to go, you can see in the in the traditional approach, you kind of know where to go. Maybe and you have an idea or some hypothesis, you can come in here and look around. Um, whereas the the anomalies tab is a sort of a new approach where it's kind of just letting the data speak and surface um, surface what net data considers the most anomalous metrics to the top here. So you can kind of more easily just see them basically, and you can see obviously okay WW data. Um, Similar here, we've got this is this is web traffic. We can see HTTPD, um, and so this is kind of at the top of this heat map. Basically, is all is all requests, requests, nginx requests, um, WW data HTTP. So you can see this is basically if, if you were to come in here and, and see this little spike and and kind of ask yourself, I wonder what that is. Pretty soon after a little bit of scrolling here at the top of the heat map, you can kind of get the impression that it's. It's web traffic. It's nginx, um, and from there, then you can you can kind of you can decide. You know, is this an anomaly that you need to worry about? Something you need to take action on, or is this just you know um, a normal? You know, it's it's an it might be anomalous from the point of view of the data, but not necessarily something that you know you need to take action on as the the human in the loop here. So the idea here is to just basically. Um, Make it easier for you to kind of find periods of time that are of interest and quickly kind of get a, a quick a quick scan of them and see if it's something you should take action on or something you need to investigate more or if it's just um, rare behavior but not 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 anything that's actually abnormal that you kind of you know you 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 need to worry about. Uh, by default, basically, the ML models train on the last four hours, so that's all they know about. So this could be that you know if this happens every now and then, maybe this happens and you just know that it's like a daily process, you don't need to worry about it, then that's fine. But it could be that also like the same thing, like a sudden abrupt, say it's like a DDoS attack or whatever, could could also be very similar. So a sudden abrupt change in things and you might want to, you know, you might treat it differently. So uh, this is just a quick, a quick little walkthrough of a example there of uh, running a K6 test against some, some net data VMs and just seeing how it sort of plays through the anomaly advisor. Thank you.